Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Dominic James Murray, CEO and founder here at Cameron James. Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about LTA inside your SIP and could you use a QROPS. So for many of you, you'll already understand what LTA is, um, but it, many of you may have already realized that you're not able to utilize a QROP. So this video is going to be broken into two sections. The first part is going to be talking about people who have a SIP or a UK pension and cannot use a QROPS. How can we look to minimize your LTA? And the second part of the video will be talking about those who can utilize a QROP um, to avoid um, LTA. So number one, if you are currently not in the EEA, which means you cannot use a QROPS, if you were to use a QROPS, you'd have a 25% OTC tax charge, which is brought into play in 2017 from the UK government. This means if you say you had a million pounds inside a UK scheme or a SIP, if you transferred to a QROP, you would have a 25% tax charge. Even if you asked me to do this and you signed a load of paperwork, we would not do the transfer for you because obviously it's pension suicide. So you have to stay inside your SIP or your UK pension. If we are managing a SIP for you, this does not mean that all is lost. It does not mean that we cannot help you minimize the LTA charge that you pay across your lifetime. Now, lifetime allowance is a super complicated area um, of HMRC regulation. When it comes to the HMRC, I feel like they've almost made this area rather complicated because it will probably allow them to tax people more uh, later in life because they didn't quite realize. So LTA, as you know, has come down over the course of the years. It was 1.8, 1.5, 1.25, now 1.073 million in 2021 at the time of writing. Actually, this is frozen for another six, five or six years until 2026. It will stay at 1.073 million and then it will likely begin to rise uh, with inflation again so if you're inside your sip as i said not all is lost what we can do is help you have a strategy over the course to now and the age of 75 of drawing down money from your sip in the most tax efficient manner so say for example i have john smith he's age 60 residing in the united kingdom and he's now become retired this means that he has his UK tax allowance that could be used each year. So at the moment, circa 12K, this will go up over the course of the years. We could draw down that amount from his SIP each year, and obviously he would have no tax to be paid as ordinary income um, on that capital. What this would allow us to do between now and the age of 75, when you will be tested against your lifetime allowance, if you haven't had any benefit crystallization events, is a very complicated Excel document, which has about 17 tabs um, and a lot of formula. I'm not gonna go into that now, but that is something that we prepare for all of our clients who are looking to try to minimize um, their LTA. A big misconception clients have is, I had a client email me just a couple of weeks ago. They said, Dominic, I'm nearly at 1.073 million. I'd like to take out another 100K so that I stay below my lifetime allowance. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Clearly, I didn't do a very good job when I was on board in that client, didn't explain it well enough. So lifetime allowance is not just, oh, you have to stay below 1.073 million. It is a percentage of the lifetime allowance that you've used over the course of your lifetime. Say you had half a million inside your SIP and um, you took out 100,000 pounds, at that point in time, that 100,000 pounds would be tested against your lifetime allowance. So as your pension pot continues to grow, you'll be tested again and again when you have benefit crystallization events or when you reach the age of 75. So unfortunately, it's not about just staying below that figure, it is about the percentage of your lifetime allowance that you have used. Now, this is pretty complicated and clients get really confused and trust me, even with an Excel spreadsheet, it's not possible to ensure that it's 100% accurate. If you look at all the big players in the market, um, Cash Calc, Select a Pension, they simply do not offer lifetime allowance calculators. Why? Because it's too complicated. I've met with the CEOs of those companies, I've explained to us, Dominic, we're not gonna roll it out as a paid product because we can't be 100% accurate um, on the results. So if you're inside a SIP, get in touch with us today. If you're approaching your lifetime allowance, we can help you work out a tax efficient withdrawal strategy between now and your 75th birthday to minimize um, your lifetime allowance. We can't avoid it, we can only minimize it. Part B of the equation is people who are able or have the opportunity to use a QROPS. Now, I must caveat, I'm recording this in 2021, QROPS are still available. If you're watching this in 2023, QROPS might not be available. Um, there's a lot of legislation changes going on with the UK Brexiting. Um, I wouldn't be surprised for QROPS to be off the table. I actually would have thought they would have been off the table on the 1st of January 2021 when we officially Brexited, but I think the UK government was a little bit busy with the pandemic um, and this wasn't that important to them. 
if you can transfer over to a QROPS or if you're already inside a QROPS, you can actually avoid your lifetime allowance entirely. If you transfer over to a QROPS and trigger your BCE8 event, Benefit Crystallization Event 8, you will never pay any lifetime allowance for the rest of your life, even if your pension pot grows to two, three, four, five, 10 million, there will be no lifetime allowance um, to pay. So if you're interested in understanding how to utilize a QROPS, whether you're eligible for a QROPS or whether you'd have to pay a 25% um, OTC charge to get into a QROPS, get in touch with us for a free consultation on QROPS to understand this um, in more detail. If you're already inside a QROPS, but you've had maybe bad performance, your financial advisor doesn't contact you anymore, your growth isn't very good, your charges are high, you've got a poor level of service. Yes, this is very, very common with QROPS. Get in touch below and we can help you understand how to move to a QROPS provider and platform which can be much more in line with your um, uh, situation. To give an example, we had a client in Singapore um, a couple of weeks ago. He was inside a utmost bond where he paid a very large amount of commission to the original advisor. It didn't suit his requirements though. He couldn't trade. He couldn't have professional investor access. So we transferred him from a, um, a sovereign um, a Gibraltar QROPS to a trireme uh, Malta QROPS and replaced the underlying platform with something where he can freely trade. He said to me he made 45% uh, profit the year before um, in, the, in the bull market of the pandemic. Great for him. He wanted to trade and have more access um, to his capital. So if that's somebody like you or you just want to reduce your costs or you feel like your QROPS is not working for you, your advisor is no longer in touch, get in touch with us and we will help you to get it sorted. Um, I hope that's a good summary for everyone on LTA, SIPs and QROPS. If you have any questions, as always, put them in the comment section below and subscribe below for more videos from myself. Speak soon and thank you.